I was thinking to myself randomly, what is the most original game that I've ever played? Um, here I'm looking at Star Trek Arcade, Star Wars Arcade, Superman Arcade, Tron Arcade, Goonies Arcade. Not all very original, are they? I mean, they're all excellent, excellent games, but they're based on pre-existing licenses. And they're not necessarily original, even though they're awesome, awesome games. But I'm thinking back to a little gem of a system that I used to own that did not do too well in the market. The Atari 7800. And here we have a little gem of a game on the Atari 7800 called Ninja Golf. I'm going to try this out for a minute here. And as we all know, the uh, Atari 2600 had tremendous success until roughly the... Late 1983, early 1984 period, when there was just such an influx, a flood of the market with games, that uh, it literally just crashed the entire market. It was not just E.T. and Pac-Man that did it, it was the whole market as a whole due to the quality sure, assurance standards that just didn't exist at the time. And of course, Nintendo had this amazing system that they wanted to bring to the United States, and they had Mario, which was an awesome, awesome game. And they didn't know exactly how to bring it to the United States. So they approached Atari, who already had uh, great success in the industry. And they wanted Atari to help them get the system out in the United States. But due to creative and financial differences between the two companies, Atari decided to go with their own system called the Atari 7800. Nintendo ended up going with this company who had solid footing in the industry, but a different industry, the toy industry, with a Teddy Rushman called Worlds of Wonder, and of course they were going through Children's Palace at the time. So Nintendo were able to basically have a little bit of assistance from Worlds of Wonder, and they did one of two things. They had Worlds of Wonder help them out, and they also went around in the van showcasing the Nintendo Entertainment System before release. And as, all, as we all know, Mario came out, and we never looked back. That was the, the true start, should, should I say, the reboot of the video game industry at the time. So with the Atari 2600, which ended up being the downfall of the video game industry, and companies such as Electronic Arts, which were in the PC market at the time, which was a more respectable gaming market and did not fail as a result, I mean, EA probably would have done much worse if they would have been in the Atari systems at the time, but they stuck to the PC, had their Jordan vs. Bird and such, and they did extremely well. But <laughs> nonetheless, this is an incredible game, and it shows that more than what's going on in the Atari warehouse than just creativity. They may have been... I mean, it was very, very... not frowned upon to have alcohol and marijuana while you're designing games, and people were working literally 18 to 20 hour shifts. I mean, there was just so much going on with Atari at the time. But I'm loving this game and I'm thinking, yes, this is pretty original, or is it? Let's see what happens here after I get to the end of this level here. But I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. Ninja Golf on the Atari 7800. Definitely very, very different than your standard game. And I should be approaching a boss here soon. Definitely has a very 80s vibe to it. Come on, I'm almost to that hole. Getting there, you can see at the bottom left how close I'm getting to the hole. Almost there. What's going to happen next? Awesome, awesome. Kind of reminds me of the mini games in Shadow Dancer for Sega Genesis. 
a little bit of a space area vibe to it. All about time, and of course. This is pretty impressive for an Atari system. But anyways, uh, what I was thinking about here, and I'm going to go to uh, low content here. Star Trek 3, I'm doing a video via the dummy folder method. And if you install FF MPEG RetroArch add-on after installing RetroArch Extreme, you can run videos one of two ways. Via the dummy folder, which I've also done videos on. Or on the main user interface using bin forward slash FF MPEG. But I'm going to videos right now. And I'm thinking about Ninja Golf and how original it really is. But I'm a tremendous martial arts fan and I've watched literally every martial arts movie you can imagine from the late 1980s and early 1990s. And lo and behold, I remembered this. Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. And you can buy this movie from shoutfactory.com. <laughs> Guys, give me a hand, will ya? Does anyone know what this movie is without even looking it up? I mean, many of you who have watched martial arts movies in the 80s and 90s might remember this instantly. Ninja 3 The Domination. And uh, back in the day, me and my friend, uh, he was a big, big martial arts enthusiast. And he would literally go to train in ninjutsu every Friday. And he'd come home and show me what he learned. So I learned quite a bit of ninjutsu. And he'd also stop at the local video store and rent whichever martial arts movies were out at the time. Be it Blood Sport, Kickboxer, Ninja 3 Domination... Uh, many, many, many more. I, I could go over like list of like dozens upon dozens of them. American Ninja with Michael Dudikoff. But Ninja 3 Domination is by far one of my absolute favorite martial arts movies. Basically it has a telephone worker, a female of all things. And the person that you just saw in the martial arts scene there. Basically, I mean, I don't want to spoil the movie too much. Let's just say that the spirit of an ancient martial artist, a dead martial artist, basically possesses her and goes after all of his previous enemies. And it is incredibly awesome. Hokey at the same time, but I absolutely love the movie. It holds up very, very well after all this time. And many of you may have seen this on Cinemax back in the day. Cinemax, I think, was about the only channel that showed the movie. But it was an incredibly awesome movie, Ninja 3 The Domination. Now you got Ninja Golf, which may not be so original after all, but the movie was awesome. Check it out.